a Robert Pro Arm Gun Reviews. Today I got something kind of unusual to show you. Uh, you don't really see these guns that often. Um, this right here is the Harrington and Richardson 32 caliber. It's like a 32 short. Um, kind of interesting that uh, we even got this gun in. Um, don't really get the CDs around too often. Um, hard to find ammunition for, but we want to thank Preston over at Spiker Custom Gunsmithing right here in Marydale, Delaware. He's the one that provided his gun for us. Um, really neat. It's an older model Harrington and Richardson. I'm a big fan of their guns. Um, I have uh, I have other guns that uh, also are from Harrington and Richardson. They're really good firing guns. Um, this is a break top action revolver. It's an old school revolver, but it is nice. It does have the original nickel finish on there. Not really a perfect finish on it, but still halfway decent for being as old as it is. Um, you know, it's a J-frame revolver. Um, really nice. These are like the old school revolvers that you would probably have in your pocket if you're going to, you know, a saloon back in the day or, you know, going into a bar, you'd have this in your pocket or, you know, maybe even in a holster, you know, for protection. Uh, these rounds are just really seem to be really hard to find. A 32 short is really a difficult round to fire in. But we actually ended up with a couple blank rounds, you know, that we're going to try to shoot today. They are very old. But I was only get, I was only able to get my hands on five of them. So again, you know some of these older guns are really nice. It is uh, it is double action only. It's got a, it's got a concealed hammer. So, but I mean I will say the trigger the trigger pull is very smooth um, for being as old as it is. And you know if, if you're a big fan of my, you know like of the old western. Uh, guns like I am, especially the break top. I wish I could get my hands on a Schofield 45 break top. That'd be nice, uh, but that's a little bit out of my budget, unfortunately. But you know, anyone that's a fan of the old break top action guns would definitely like a gun like this. You know, anytime I can seem to find a break a break top action gun, I'd like to I'd like to get one. So um, you know, really cool for collectors. I don't know if I would really carry this for. Uh, self-protection not saying a 32 short you know is not really good for self-protection but it's an older style cartridge it's an older gun I, I don't know what I would say about reliability however we do talk about a lot about revolvers being um, you know a little bit more reliable when it comes to you know firing versus semi-automatic that can jam revolvers typically don't have that problem for jamming uh, like semi-automatics do they're not quite as picky when it comes to ammunition like semi-automatics um, with revolvers also you can shoot a you know um, a less powder charge round like say for instance a 22 caliber semi-automatic doesn't really like 36 frame bullets they don't like to cycle the action if you have a 22 revolver you can shoot a 36 grain bullet a 40 grain bullet don't matter so it is kind of it is kind of nice uh, with a revolver so you have a few more options so we could try to put some of these rounds on this thing and see what it does. Um, again, not going to guarantee they're all going to fire because they are old rounds, but we can certainly give it a try and see what happens. I think I just dropped one. A lot of a lot of uh, cowboys and, and everything used to, I love to use the uh, the old break top action guns, which are nice. I'm a big fan. I, I'm sure a lot of my viewers out there also like old western movies and uh, like to uh, like to watch some of those. So let's see if we have any luck with these uh, these uh, blank cartridges that are really uh, old. Let's see. Well, we got three out of the four to, to uh, actually fire. Um, I was kind of concerned about that because they are old and uh, they definitely got some use on them. But again, you know, <laughs> for being what it is, you know, it's, it, it's a really nice gun. I would like to get some uh, actually live rounds for it. Um, 
it's uh, going to be probably a little bit of a challenge to find those, being the fact the ammo shortage right now, because typically they're making the, the rounds like for your more popular calibers, 9mm, 38, 357, and so on. So to try to find, uh, you know, 32 short out there is going to be kind of hard to do. So we'll just have to, you know, keep on looking for it. Maybe once we uh, get some live rounds, we can do another uh, video of uh, shooting some live rounds at the targets. But, you know, Harrington and Richardson, you know, one of the earlier companies that made really nice guns and made them with really good quality. So thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. You all be safe.